So we know a campaign for Halo Infinite has essentially been cut, and so there's not going to be anything coming around anytime soon. But there's still one way Halo could experience some PvE content. And that's campaign AI in Forge. In this blog post posted by 343 about three months ago, 343 discusses a likelihood of campaign AI coming into Forge. And they said not right now, but it's not ruled out. The specifically good news is that with the additional of nav mesh and the support of AI controlled bots, we've already got a head start on pushing further into this area. Obviously campaign levels made within Forge would be absolutely amazing and a way for us to experience more PVE content and explore the idea a lot more in this video. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's be anyone to see some more content like this and let's get right into it. And to understand what kind of content you could see from user generated campaign missions is well play a user generated campaign mission. This campaign mission is called Extraction Point and you can find it on the Steam Workshop. Hopefully in the future we can see maybe with Halo Infinite be able to create like some kind of custom campaign paying experience. Oh, we have friends coming in. They're taking on a ghost. Come on, friends. That's right. You need to help out carry your weight over here. Thank you. Doing just that, as I asked. Yes, everything did just go to hell. So welcome to it. Oh, I'm about to drive this Warhog now. But yeah, before I was so rudely interrupted by the awesomeness of watching AI battle each other, was that I really hope that we see some time in the future that we can do some kind of custom campaign experiences with Halo Infinite's Forge. Like we've seen the stuff that people can create. A lot of the amazing stuff that people have made right now is just some of it's just jaw dropping like developer quality stuff. And I wonder if we can maybe pull off something similar with the Forge mode in Halo Infinite with potentially being added in some AI characters. We've seen leaks and rumors about this. I mean, it's been a long time rumor. I mean, we have the Forge Council and you you know that they talked about it. You know that they mentioned it. So they had to do something about seeing if they can maybe put AI into the Forge mode. And if they ever can do that, oh my God, we're off to the races of a lot of cool content similar to this, but natively made within Halo Infinite with a visual style of that. Oh, it'd be so good. The hardest part though is just creating the proper pathing for the AI because, you know, we have to do that for multiplayer maps if you want to have bots on it. And well, you know, it's not as easy as people think of just adding bots to a map. You have to create like an entire mesh mapping for these characters, which is kind of crazy. Oh my God, come on, ODC boy. I need you to shoot this. Oh no. Okay, attempt number two. This is what happens when you have AI in the back though. They just will shoot at things. So you're like, come on, just shoot the big bad thing that's right in front of you. And then they just don't. They can run this brute over. Uh, give him a little tap. If it was CE, that would have been a death tap. But I do also hope to see that in Halo Infinite, we could have some more PvE experiences come to the game. Um, rumor has it that Extraction in Season 4 is coming around. I've talked about this in previous videos as well. And we could see maybe it's kind of like a PvE, maybe a PvP kind of thing, but it sounds like they're utilizing existing maps right now. So you're not going to have like specific maps designed for Extraction. It's not going to be some kind of crazy mode, say like Firefight would be, right? Where you need like your own dedicated maps to truly capture the Firefight experience. This will be a little bit more, I think it just kind of like a fun side PVE kind of thing. Uh, nothing I wouldn't take too seriously. I wouldn't, that certainly wouldn't be a firefight replacement from all accounts and leaks and rumors that I've heard about the mode. But replayable content when it comes to the campaign, I was really expecting for Halo Infinite, which just didn't really quite get. Or any kind of PVE mode, which we've had in Halo, except for like the launch of Halo 5, but eventually we ended up getting it with through Warzone Firefight, which actually was a kind of a fun mode, not gonna lie. I definitely jumped in and played Warzone Firefight quite a few times when I just wanted to hop in the Halo, like, a, like a, you know, those times you want to play Halo, but then you just like don't want to deal with like all the stuff that comes with Halo, like having to stress over power weapons and strafing and you know all that kind of stuff where you just want to jump in and shoot stuff. That's where Warzone Firefight came in and it just completely you know scratched that itch perfectly. And Halo Infinite just doesn't really have that right now. I mean we have the campaign which is fantastic in Halo Infinite, but it sounds like we're not really getting any new kind of content given the recent news. Oh no that's coming in on! Oh that was way too close. Absolutely too close for that race shot. And then I've seen a lot of comments also when it comes to Infinite saying they just want to see Firefight come in, which I think a Firefight is a fun mode. I'll give you that. But I, honestly, I'm kind of over Firefight, man. Like, if anything, Firefight was meant to be just a mode that was just supposed to just kind of follow the trend of, like, horror defense modes. So we had, like, well, in Gears of War that got really popular there. And a lot of other games tried to capture that kind of experience. And even some games made entire franchises based off of that kind of experience as well. I'm going to Prowler Bros came back. Thank you for coming back, guys. Oh, those, you know when the bars come in, something serious is happening. The wall. The wall. Sorry, I can't believe I just did that. You can feel free to unsubscribe now. Oh my god, get absolutely wrecked, Hunter. I love the, 
The jerky motion. Yeah, just run him over. Problem solved, man. This Warhog has been a champ so far because it's been taking a beating. And my Prowler bros are just nowhere to be seen right now. Are they even... I'm going to fly, drive back and see if I can find them. Oh, yeah. Just take a nice little break. Taking a breather here, I see. Come on, guys. Let's, let's, get, let's get moving a little bit. Come on. Just do a little, little forward. little forward motion. Come on. Just follow me. No? All right, fine. That's just not happening. But the main thing I would like to see if we're going to do some more PvE stuff in Halo Infinite it would just be something new. I just want, like, new experiences in Halo. I feel like everyone's so busy and trying to catch up with, like, the old experiences that we know and love, right? Like, typical firefights. Like, look at the content that didn't launch with Halo Infinite saying, like, SWAT and things in Fiesta and things like that that end up being, like, limited time modes for whatever reason. Oh, God. We're getting flipped. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I just would love to see just some new experiences to be had because I think Halo Infinite really opens the door for just something that we've never really experienced before in the franchise. I mean, that's definitely the open world experience of the campaign was certainly that and it fit great and i'd love to see what 343 could pull off beyond just making an awesome campaign open world stuff that they can try to build off of that because the gameplay that they built for it is honestly one of my favorite in the franchise it's stuck i know i've seen a lot of people online especially on reddit where like especially those missions towards the end where you have to go fight jacob or dumb Knight, right and there's like that one section where you have to fight ways of enemies like you're basically doing firefight within the campaign right there why why can't we just have it like in a repeatable fashion which obviously would hit a lot different and also you gotta think of all the different like mechanics tied around just having a firefight mode like having to make sure everything works properly when it comes to like your battle pass progression xp progression things like that obviously those are just kind of excuses they can they've been done before and can be done it's beyond just like hey make a cool mode so i can play though i would love to see some kind of way to make it like a class-based system or something like that would be kind of cool for like a pve thing where like oh yeah i play as this role you play as like a healer i play as like a tank kind of thing so mix up like that pve experience instead of everyone just kind of being the same that's the one time i think classes in halo would actually would be kind of sick in typical halo fashion they left a little pelican over here where yeah if you want to explore a little more you get some extra goodies like i remember these mock-ups i think a uh, pixel flare made i think even before you joined 343 and just kind of showcasing like all these different kind of classes and things that they can pull off with halo like brutes being extra like tanky but like you know don't do that much damage like that where elites are like extra stealthy but maybe like are not as uh tough as brutes kind of thing oh my god the snipers everywhere right now i wonder if the person who made this was kind of trying to go for like the banish kind of feel with it or maybe it just kind of happened to be bruce or something like that because uh these are definitely playing like well these are spartan laser snipers these are just like your regular old snipers we've seen previously they got spartan lasers so they're very serious about this oh my god they are so serious there we go fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me three times well i just need to get better at the game dude he was shaking you see the fear in his eyes on that one? But he's shaking. Do you see that? Look at him. Look how he shakes. <laughs> that looks hilarious. <laughs> definitely Bruce were not meant to hold Spartan lasers. But yeah, like a cool twist on like a PvE mode, I think would definitely be needed. Some kind of objective or maybe like, you know, go from point A to point B kind of thing like we're doing right now in this campaign. But in a much more repeatable fashion, almost like a strike in a way like you have in Destiny. I think Halo could definitely pull stuff like that. I mean, they definitely had that kind of gameplay loop when it came to like the HPTs and stuff like that within the campaign. Oh God, there's so many, so many bad guys over here. I get this guy. I want to get this brute before anything else i can't oh man i'll find it no you won't well who's filthy now looking pretty messy on the floor right there with all your uh you know deadness and blood and i kind of rounded back to halo infinite and forge mode when it comes to the pve experiences like we've seen like this done before in other games uh the one thing that comes to my mind is definitely the forging kind of mode that you had for far cry 5 they had a, a forge mode in there which was amazingly well done like it was actually better than halo 5s which was kind of crazy to think about and you can like forge different ais the kind of i'm gonna use the word forge i don't know what their map creator name was called but you can make different maps with ai on them that will patrol different areas and they will at, and you can basically just jump in and play what people have created like extra campaign missions in the game which is so cool i wonder if 343 can maybe learn from that kind of stuff and maybe just understand like what they're doing over at the far cry side of things to make that happen for halo infinite because the ai in halo has always been amazing the enemies you fight against have always been so unique and just like an experience you can't really have anywhere else which makes halo again so awesome press e what'd i do it, it did a checkpoint oh we got drones coming in i gotta help the friends you're not gonna lie i'm a little 
total loss of this section. Oh, there's the another arrow I gotta go press on. Eon. Okay, that makes sense. There's another arrow I gotta go press Eon. All right, we'll see. Seems to be a pattern here. Looks like we're gonna do like a group of four probably or something. It'd be cool if there's like a boss fight at the end of this. That'd be kind of nutty. So the last video I did a, a custom campaign on that there was like a boss fight at the end of the whole thing, which is actually kind of cool. Dead the body disrespect there, man. Sheesh. The body's still warm. I mean, we even saw that in Halo 5, people actually did try to make their own custom campaign missions. I believe there was one that was actually like probably one of the better ones that was made. And you can tell there was some jank in some aspects. They had to kind of like make it work kind of thing when it comes to the Halo 5 Forge, but they were able to do it. And I would assume that over time, you know, we're still scratching the surface when it comes to Forge content in Halo Infinite that we could see something like someone making a campaign mission, but maybe with like bots instead or something like that. Oh, Oh my god, this is what we're talking about. We got brutes. We got hunters. It's a party now, man. Oh my god, it's too much of a party. Whoa. Oh my god, my ODSC boy. He is one brave soul, man. Oh my gosh. Survive. You, but I could do, you do it, man, I believe. He's joining on the fun. He face tanked the whole thing. Look at that, man. That's crazy. Oh, I'm gonna get absolutely struck by this thing right now. I'm not gonna like this one bit. My ODSC friends were helping for a second. There we go. Yeah, get distracted. Let me shoot the back. I got to run out of ammo now, too. Watch him in the back. Oh god, that ODSC guy was so brave. He will forever be remembered. Man. There we go. The good old one step to the left. Can't stop me, man. I know how to fight. I don't want to use my. I only have a sniper rifle right now, and I don't want to use it on these guys. That brute maybe drop something I could use. Hey, we got like a plaza rifle. I'll try this. Yeah, it's just a shame that we're not going to see any more like campaign expansions or anything like that anytime soon when it comes to Halo Infinite. Maybe far down the line, like in two or three, five years or whatever. But uh, for the meantime, like definitely not happening in 2023. Probably not happening in 2024 either. But from what it sounded like, that 343 was looking to kind of do like more like episodic kind of expansion when it comes to uh, Halo storytelling maybe through the seasonal stuff, but I think it was more like additional campaigns that you would see in the game. And I'm assuming that, well, it got denied by Microsoft. They're like, yeah, this isn't gonna make us enough money. And so we're just gonna can that whole idea. But down Pelican here, does that mean that I can get some cool stuff? Usually it means there's like stuff laying on the ground. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a science SMG. Yeah, there it is in action right here. Easy little slay on the grunty boy. All right, let's go press E on this triangle. Actually, I want to use my turret right here real quick. You got his turret. That's all you, man. Or, or not. Where did it go? Oh, well, that was a complete waste of time. Note to self, think about where you're placing your turret rather than just throwing it out in the open because it's not going to work out very well for you. Oh, oh man, they're coming in. Now I really wish I had that turret still. Oh, they're coming in for all angles. Oh, jeez. And also, like, it also kind of makes me think about, like, if you did, like, fan-created PvE experiences, it could be, like, something that could rival, say, like, Super Mario Maker, if you guys know that one, where basically people were able to create their own versions of, like, Mario levels and stuff like that. Some pretty cool stuff. But the thing is that, like, some of them were, like, insane insanely difficult like unnecessarily difficult if you look on youtube you'll find clips pretty easy of just like incredibly difficult mario super mario maker levels imagine if someone like made like a forge created campaign mission and it was meant to be just be the most insanely difficult thing like ungodly difficult and that's youtube content right there if you ask me i mean i would know i've been doing this for way too long imagine if there's just like a mission like this is the impossible mission can i complete it kind of thing and just be like a game break and stuff like 20 hunters all shooting you at once or something like just ridiculous Essentially, you pretty much, I'm sure you'd pretty much have to play just like how Gervalian had to play like Lasso Halo 2 to get that challenge completed. Oh man, the, the drums are kicking in. The Halo theme's coming. You know, some serious stuff's about to hit. Either it's gonna be really cinematic or it's gonna be really difficult in about two seconds here. Oh, he has a hammer. Oh my god, he has a hammer. It's a chieftain. Oh my god. I saw rockets on the bottom of this map. Uh, I think this is the right time to use those. Oh, we got the stick on him. Oh, there we go. Dude, mouse and keyboard. Honestly, it helps line up different sticks and things so much easier compared to just like regular controller play. Oh god, what's something behind me? I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Even like a section like this, just like for Infinite, would just be a fun like play space that you kind of just jump in and shoot stuff, you know what I mean? It's just, that's what Infinite's really missing, man. It's just like casual, kind of turn your brain off and just shoot stuff kind of experience that Firefly did such a great job of doing. And we know that it can be a catalyst for amazing PvE experiences. We had that in the campaign. Just wish it was able to do that through like a multiplayer type of environment. Oh damn, they're not done yet. Got to drop it in here. Can I just like jump onto this thing or do I need to stay, stay keep up and stay alive here? Now we just jump in and we're good. Okay. I think that's kind of the idea is like coming in hot. Oh no, our RDS teeth purpose left behind. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Master Chief escaped. We did it. Scorely made this. Okay, so that's awesome to know. That's extraction point. If you guys want to see some more content like this, make sure to tap that like. So we'll catch you next time.